Hello! In this video, we will present a very interesting function of Z1 dashboards, and that is sharing telemetry data with your engineer or spotter when he is in a different location. Now, before following on with this video, we recommend you to check the tutorial on how to use the Z1 dashboard on a remote computer using the Z1 server. In that video, you will find basic information on how to configure Z1 dashboards and Z1 server. Now we must make sure that Z1 server is installed on the same computer in which the simulator is running, as this is going to be the one that transmits the data to the other computers on the network. Today we will find out how to transmit the data over to a remote computer, located for example in a different country. In this case, the driver runs the Z1 server on his computer and the spotter must be using the Z1 dashboards in a remote location outside of the driver's network. The only complexity with this is that we need to create a virtual private network. Now in this video we're going to be using the example Log Me In Hamachi. Download the software with the link provided in the comments of this video. Once Hamachi has been downloaded, you need to install this on your computer. The same operation is required on the computers of the spotter and the driver. Once this has been installed, run Hamachi to create and configure a virtual private network. Now, if we try to create a network, Hamachi will give an error since we are not even registered. The first step is therefore to register or to log in if you already have an account. Anyone who wants to join this private network should enter the name and password. With this done, the users connected to the virtual private network appear within this window with their corresponding IP address. Now remember that the driver must follow the same steps as we see in this upper window. He must connect to the same network. Once the driver and the spotter are connected to the same network, both users should now be able to see each other on the network indicator. The driver has to run the VPN software and the Z1 server. This allows the Z1 server window to show the IP address assigned by the VPN. As we have seen in the first video of Z1 dashboards, a port should also be assigned. Here, we will leave this at the default value. Meanwhile, the spotter needs to copy the IP address of the driver and the port and insert it into the settings of the remote Z1 dashboard. This way, the connection will be established and as soon as the driver goes to the track, the spotter may have real-time data on his remote Z1 dashboards. In this example, we only have a single dashboard, but please remember that it is possible to have up to six simultaneous instances with real-time data. You are able to check the user manual of the Z1 dashboard to see more options on this feature. Now that's going to conclude this video and this tutorial. Please visit our website and Facebook at Positive Sim Racing for more reviews. Hope this video can be useful to you. We wish you good luck in the competition and happy racing. Goodbye.